smell of Dunkin' Donuts, minor league hockey, and a man running around in a penis costume. That's right, you're in Providence, Rhode Island, a New England city with a tendency to name sports teams after heavy construction machinery, and home to the last NFL champions to no longer be in the league. The Providence Steamroller, or Steamrollers, were founded in 1916 by members of the Providence Journal and named when part owner and founder Charles Coppin was getting a hot dog and heard someone remark that the opposing team, the Providence Pros, were getting steamrolled. The steamroller would play as an independent team until 1924 and had a reputation for being a regional powerhouse. The team's final independent season schedule would feature several NFL opponents. Against NFL teams, they would post a 3-2-1 record. And, according to my internet sources, they would win the mythical, undisputed championship of the Northeast. The Steamroller would join the NFL for the 1925 season and would finish 10th with a 6-5-1 record. In 1928, Providence would finish 8-1-2 with the highest winning percentage in the league. The Steamroller would be crowned NFL champions. The Providence Steamroller would award the team with gold watches and name Jimmy Causelman as the team's MVP. And on December 23rd, the league would issue its official honor roll, naming five Providence players. However, over the next few seasons, the Steamroller would see injury and loss of star power. Gus Sonnenberg would defeat Strangler Lewis for the World Heavyweight Championship in wrestling and would focus more on profitable title defenses than football. Center Clyde Smith would return to his native Missouri to coach football. Jimmy Conselman was hobbled by a knee injury. Curly Odin would focus more on selling insurance. And George Wildcat Wilson, who looks like Andy Samberg, would depart the team after the 1929 season. For the next few years, the team would manage four to six wins a season and finish no higher than fifth place. This poor on-field performance mixed with the Great Depression caused a decline Providence could not recover from. The Providence Steamroller would suspend operations after the 1931 season and would throw in the towel in 1933, handing the franchise back to the NFL. Despite the end of the team, there are many interesting NFL firsts the Steamroller left us. They are the first team to play home games in a velodrome, called the Cycle Drone. Neat. The Steamroller would also be the first team to host a game at night with floodlights, so fans could see them get shut out by the Chicago Cardinals 16-0. And from November 5th to November 10th, Providence would play four games in six days, finishing the stretch with a 0-3-1 record. The Steamroller would continue with other teams who carried on the name and spirit. In a previous video, I mentioned the Providence Huskies who shared the Husky mascot with the Steamroller, and who are the only pro-semi-pro team to record a perfect 10-0 season, allowing zero points. The NBA would also have a Steamroller team from 1946 until 1949, who played at the Rhode Island Auditorium, and in 1988 the name would again be revived, this time by the Arena Football League, whose steamroller team would only play for one season at the Providence Civic Center. And outside these teams, there has almost always been a semi-pro minor league football team in the area who carries the steamroller name. Another NFL team would not play in the region until the New England Patriots, who currently play in Foxborough, Massachusetts which is closer to Providence than Boston. There is hope, however, for the future of a pro team in Providence. With five upcoming pro leagues, there is actually a possibility that Providence could have a team and perhaps see the resurrection of the steamroller name. Until then, the people of Providence, Rhode Island, can sit and enjoy their past football glory. Providence players honored in the Hall of Fame include Jimmy Colzelman, Fritz Pollard, and Billy the Gun Van Gogh. Is that right or is that Steve Martin? Fuck. <laughs>